Hey, it's Jacqueline, and I bet you're here because you want to learn more about street signs. I really geek out on how perfectly drawn our streets are and how informative the street signs are. So when I'm driving down the road, I am reading everything, and it helps me know where to go. You had to memorize all the street signs for your permit test, and now we're just gonna see if you remember what they mean and also see why they're there. So you're gonna be on the lookout for the red hexagon stop sign. You're gonna be on the lookout for the rectangle one-way street with a point that shows which direction the street goes. You're gonna be on the lookout for the yellow diamond sign that always means caution. And you're gonna be on the lookout maybe even for a school sign, which looks like a box with a little house on top. So let's hit the road and check out street signs and make sure that we know which way to go. And here we are, and we already see a bunch of street signs. The one-way sign ahead of us lets us know that this side of the road only travels to the right. They follow up with a right turn only sign. In case the one-way sign wasn't enough, they want us to be doubly informed and I'm making sure it's safe before I enter into the road for my right turn. And all the way down the road, on the right side, I see parking signs that let me know how long I can park on the right. I see a bus sign, and since I'm not a bus, I never get to drive in that lane. I see another one-way sign on the left side just to remind us this side of the road is one way. And I see no U-turn and no left turn signs in the left corner of the road. So I would not try to make a U-turn or a left turn there. On the right side, I see a community sign letting me know some key features in the neighborhood. And I also see a bike route sign in the upper right hand corner. And that helps me as the driver to know that since I'm on a road with a bike route, I want to be extra careful and aware of cyclists. So driving is more than just staying centered in your lane with good speed control. It's also reading the road so you understand exactly what to do. On the right here, there's a yield here to pedestrians that lines up with these white triangles. And if there was a pedestrian trying to cross the road, I would stop at the white triangles to make sure that they had enough room. I see an orange road work ahead sign more yield to pedestrian signs, and an end of road work sign. What we missed was the road work in between, but at least we knew that there was something there. We see a lot of yellow, the diamond shape, which means caution, the black arrow that says, look here, and we see our freeway signs. In California, the freeway signs are always green, and they try to give you the signs a few blocks away from the freeway because a lot of times people are looking for the freeway and it's the actual signs that will guide you to get you where you're going. We're gonna make a right at the next light and we're gonna read all the signs on the road as we head toward our green light. We see the freeway sign pointing to the right. We see the bike route sign and we see the bus sign. We make our right turn, being careful not to go accidentally in the bus lane. And then on the right here, we see a do not enter sign because that's an exit. We're reminded of our speed limit, 25. And I'm going to make a right turn here when it's safe. 
I'm going to let the pedestrian cross halfway across to the median before I start my right turn. And now I go, making sure that the pedestrian is safely across. I see speed limit sign. I see yellow diamonds with a pedestrian. I'm reminded of the bike lane. I see yield here to pedestrians. So I know I would stop at the triangles. I'm scanning. I'm reminded they're checking my speed by radar. The speed increases to 30, so I get to speed up a little bit. I still have to be aware of pedestrians, more caution signs, a speedometer tracking, an emergency vehicle on the left-hand side, and more pedestrian crossing signs. All of the yellow and orange signs are exactly for me, the driver, telling me, please look here, watch out for pedestrians. Around this corner, I see a yellow sign that says 25, and it shows us with the angle of the curve that we've got a curve coming up. More, look here for pedestrian signs. A one-way street sign to the right and a no right turn. I'm gonna make a wide right turn onto this road. And now I've got speed bump signs. So when I was driving around in that big area that we just covered, I saw so many signs that were important to me being a good driver. All of the pedestrian signs helped keep me aware and scanning and looking. The one-way street signs are important so I don't accidentally try to turn the wrong way down a one-way street. The speed limit signs are important because they help me maintain my speed limit and a safe flow with traffic. The stop signs are important because they tell me where to stop and I wait for traffic to clear before I enter the intersection. And now we're gonna pull over and park. And that was a great review for you. Thank you for joining me to learn a little bit more about the street signs. I know you studied them in that book or maybe you studied them online. All of the Zootobi resources are a great reminder for you. And now you checked into this video and you got to see how the street signs look when you're really out on the road. So remember, when you take your driving test, you're being assessed for all of the knowledge you learned to pass your permit, including all the street signs. The idea is that you'll be able to apply what you've learned for your permit test to safely navigate around different neighborhoods through the state. Keep practicing and thanks for coming back. See you next time.